Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Well, if you saw the video I did of the Grand Endeavor model home located in Vintage Oaks, I kept mentioning the new community coming up called the Preserves at Elm Creek, located right next to Vintage Oaks. Now, this community is what we're going to take a look at today. I've got my motorcycle with me, and I want to give a motorcycle tour of the community. They just started selling lots on it, so yeah, let's go for a ride. A realtor ride. Alrighty, welcome to the real true ride portion of this video. Because the preserves are part of Grand Endeavor, I wanted to start off at the Grand Endeavor model home, which is where we are at right now, located in Vintage Oaks. Now this is right next to the preserves, and to get to the model home, I'm just trying to backtrack where how I'm going out, because I'm going out the side gate for Vintage Oaks off to 722. You can see just how easy it is to get to their model home. So when you're coming in to Vintage Oaks, refer to the water tower thing there and the sign. And come into the community and it's your first right. This is the 2722. If I mentioned in my intro, Canyon Lake is just up that way about 10 miles. So you do see a lot of traffic, some traffic on this road, people going to the lake. This place so close to Vintage Oaks, I almost passed it up. But here we are, the beautiful community. Let's head on inside. We got the gate closed for now, but into it keep it interesting but still plenty of oak trees relatively flat or like to call Texas Hill Country flat but all the homes in here are going to be built by Grand Endeavor so it does come with a package um, if you saw my last video of their model home you can see that there are like 12 maybe 14 different plans to choose from and because they are a I call them semi-custom home. You can take those plans and modify them as much as you want. I've got somebody in Vintage Oaks, which you see some of the back homes back in Vintage Oaks there. These are all going to be one acre lots. They're getting a uh, cottonwood being built. And I'm going to be doing another video tour of that one uh, right after this video. But uh, they've made some modifications to it and it looks gorgeous. And I have another client building a Jolie which he's definitely made some modifications. He even added like two feet to it, uh, making the main living space even wider. But I really like the fact that Grand Endeavor is able to keep their cost down by just basing everything on the plans that they have and then letting you make changes to it versus pulling in an architect and starting from scratch and the builder has to figure out how to build what that architect drew. So uh, I have to actually see the other builders now starting to follow the Grand Endeavor plan of doing that, just to try to save costs. And yes, Grand Endeavor does have those cost savings on to you. In my opinion, they are a great bang for the buck builder. Um, if uh, you're looking to build a semi-custom home on one of these beautiful one-acre lots in, this, in one of my favorite towns in the area, New Braunfels, uh, and not wanting to spend over a million dollars on it, you can do that. But I love this community. I'm super excited to watch it grow. What we're looking at right now is just phase one. 
phase two is going to be going back that way. I think there's going to be a total of three phases all together. Um, property tax. Everyone that calls me that are looking to move here from out of state, they're always worried about property taxes because nationally, uh, when you look at Texas, our property taxes are a little higher, especially if you're in Bear County and in the city limits. Luckily, this community is not in the city limits of New Braunfels, and even if there was, New Braunfels city tax aren't that bad. Uh, but you're looking at about 1.8 for here. Uh, this is in uh, Pomel County. So their taxes are actually pretty low. Um, for example, I live in the Church Cibolo area. It's still in, it's in Guadalupe County. But I'm paying about 2.5% property taxes. When I say property taxes, I mean it's uh, based on... Uh, this area would be 1.8 percent for every 100 dollars of appraised value so that kind of gives you an idea of what you're talking about and also keep in mind no state income tax uh oh shoot i got a kick out of um if you haven't followed my channel you know i'm prior military i used to be stationed in uh, california and i was blown away with how much it cost to get my vehicle registered and uh people uh, coming to Texas, they're like, wait, it's only $75 to get your vehicle registered in Texas? I'm like, yes sir. Uh, so they're, they're quite happy with that. So there's a lot of hidden taxes that you save by moving to the area. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love this area. Um, I mentioned how close it was to New Braunfels. If you wanted to be heading towards San Antonio, uh, you can come out on 46 and then take a right heading west and you're about a 15 to 16 minute drive to highway 281 and that can you can take a go south on 281 and that'll put you into downtown san antonio they have been doing a lot of construction on that part of 281 so it's not going to be the bottleneck that it used to be so uh you can easily get into downtown san antonio now, if you're facing at Lackland and looking to move out here, that's still, you're looking at over an hour drive because uh, that is the complete opposite side of the area. All right, I love how many oak trees are still out here. And uh, like I said, just a wonderful community. This is, like I said, phase one, so more and more coming in. I've met the owner, uh, Mr. Jimmy Jacobs, uh, a couple of times. He's out here to just uh, a couple weeks ago he was out here putting up these signs so it's good to have an owner that's going to be heavily involved in uh, in the process um, now if you're watching this video wondering if i have any ties to grand endeavor i absolutely do not i am a local real estate agent that kind of promotes builders that i believe in in different communities in hopes that uh you viewers will see the value in my content and when the sales rep asks you, hey, if you've been working with a realtor, uh, even if I haven't met you in person yet, if uh, my videos are the secret reason you're out there, it's okay to put my name down. Um, now, if you've already signed the contract, somebody put a comment to, hey, we've already got everything on the contract, can we still use your realtor? Sorry, but no. Once you get the contract signed, they submit sent it up. Um, that's it. So I legally can't be a realtor there. Um, when you're dealing with production homes and semi-custom homes, their base plan, their base price uh, of that plan is set. They're not going to change the price whether you're using a realtor or not. Um, now when it comes to full custom homes or bringing an architect and then they come back with a contract with everything else, that's a little bit different. So. Uh, Feel free to reach out to me. There are things I can do to help mitigate uh, some costs on that. So reach out to me prior to signing the contract or prior to uh, reaching out to the builder. Um, there are some builders that, through experience, I just don't feel comfortable recommending to folks. So, um, and it's crazy when people ask me, hey, do you recommend this builder? And I tell them straight up, no and this is why and uh 
you guys are researching your butts off and y'all have been hearing the same stuff that I've been hearing and it's just reaffirming why not to choose some builders and some builders just treat their people better and do have a better business model and so far I've heard nothing but good things from my clients that are building with Grand Endeavor so they're still on my recommended list so yeah this was a quick tour of the preserves at Elm Creek a Grand Endeavor, Endeavor neighborhood oh almost forgot um this community is not going to be having the big amenities like vintage oaks as where they got the lazy river the lap pool and the fitness center i do believe they're going to have a nice park but that's about it but keep in mind you do have kenny lake just down the road to the north uh the guadalupe river which uh i've been meaning to do some uh a kayaking video on because people don't realize just how gorgeous the guadalupe river is uh, we just haven't had much rain this year so i'm worried about uh how the water is but um if you want to get into water when it does get hot during the summer there are alternatives and of course you can always put your own pool in but uh yeah hope you saw some value in this video if you did make sure you hit the like button uh before i sign off let me head over uh to the vintage oak community because i am going to be doing a video of one of my clients house they are getting a cottonwood built. So let's not sign off just yet. Because um, there are going to be two entrances directly into Big Joe from this community, so they're not associated with each other. What, what's nice about that is you've got friends that are going to be in Well, one thing, they can get you into the amenity center and uh, the pool and stuff. But you don't have to get the you don't have to get on the major roads, the 2722, and then walk in. You can just go right up this little side entrance and into Vintage Oaks. But Vintage Oaks here is also a good example of what this community will eventually look like. Vintage Oaks has been out here, shoot, I think about 15 years now. But this gives you an idea of what one acre lots look like once they've been built up. And uh, the preserves, uh, yeah, you're going to have to be using Grand Endeavor as a builder. But in Vintage Oaks, you can bring a home builder in. And there's a lot of Grand Endeavor homes that can built here in Vintage Oaks. Yeah, there's my guys. Built. But, uh, this Adding this little part at the end of the video does give me an idea of just what one acre looks like once completed. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video and see if I can get in. And uh, it looks like they got some construction folks. This is a cottonwood plan that one of my clients are getting built. I'm going to do a video tour of that. So with that make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and keep sharing these videos with your friends and i'll talk to you soon take care now